I am at the beautiful SeaWorld Orlando for their Seven Seas Food Festival Media Day. So here I am for an icebreaker, sampling some amazing drinks, checking out their amazing food, and bringing it all here to you because this is a festival you do not want to miss. They have 28 concerts, fantastic food options, and even better drinks. Let's go check out what they have. Okay, I think I would love to try the icebreaker. That's this, right That's this one. And do you have a Mako? Uh -huh. This the one. Mako. Awesome. I will try both of these. So I found a nice spot here in the sun, right with icebreaker in the background. So I thought this would be a perfect spot to try this delicious icebreaker drink that you can get here at the Seven Seas Food Festival. What a better spot than to drink it right here in front of icebreaker. So let's try it out. This is really, really good. I can definitely take that watermelon flavor. I can definitely taste the vodka. But what I love about it is it's not too sugary. It's a great kind of refreshing drink. It's pretty toasty out here today that I could definitely walk around SeaWorld and have probably more, more than one of these. And um, it's refreshing, like it's not overpowering. Uh, some drinks can be really sugary, but this one is perfect. I love that they chose this for the icebreaker. I think you guys would love it too. It has tequila blueberry, pineapple, and citrus sour. So I thought, I love uh, Mako. I think that it's definitely one of my favorite rides here. So I, it was something that I wanted to try. And it had all of kind of the, the things that I love in a drink specifically with some blueberry. So we'll give this one a try next. What I just noticed here too is they even have some fruits in there. Like you can see the blueberries actually in the drink. Super fun. So I'm giving this Mako drink a try. It's got the delicious blueberry in there. It's got mainly tequila versus other alcohols, but tequila I can taste, the blueberry I can taste. This is a, a tough choice between the icebreaker, which I just had that had more of a watermelon flavor, and this Mako drink that has a blueberry, more flavor, but it uses tequila. Typically, I would have a drink with vodka, but this one is delicious. It doesn't have an overpowering tequila flavor if that's not really your thing. So I also, I think honestly, so far you can't go wrong with any of the drinks that they have here paired with the roller coasters. I want to give you guys kind of like a look here at all the drinks that correspond to the different roller coasters. And one thing that they told me about is they actually come in these adorable plastic bags. So this one in front of us is the icebreaker that I tried. Um, and this one right here is the Mako that I tried. And they have them in these bags. They're kind of like if you're familiar with Capri Suns. And each of these drinks corresponding to the roller coasters are just adorable and delicious. So we're taking a quick look at some of the featured items that they have here for the Seven Seas Food Festival. This one is a Berry's Panna Cotta. Definitely something I want to try once I get out there. A shrimp tostada. Oh, that looks fantastic. But I'm a fan of shrimp. So if you're not a fan of shrimp, that might be something that's not up your alley. But I definitely love shrimp. Also a golf gumbo here. Oh, gorgeous and seared scallops. I know that's on my list to try as well. This looks great. Also Hawaiian tuna polka. <laughs> tuna poke. <laughs> See, I can't even talk today. <laughs> oh, all of these food and drink options are available here at the Seven Seas Food Festival. As soon as I came into the media event, they handed me this wonderful event guide that when you come to SeaWorld, this is what you'll pick up, and this helps you find the perfect food for you. Uh, they have lots of food booths. They are doing concerts throughout the entire Seven Seas Food Festival season, which runs currently through May 8th. Uh, but one thing to note, 
if you are coming here to SeaWorld to sample all of these amazing options, you only want to come Thursday through Sunday. They are not having the booths open Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Uh, so something to note if you're going to come over here and try out this amazing uh, festival. Uh, so right here, when the best thing to do is to get the food and beverage sampler lanyard. Really good deals. 15 items for $80. You're going to see how great these food uh, plates are. And you can use it for drinks. Or you can do a 10 item package for a little bit cheaper, $65. This is a deal that you definitely want to get if this is something on your list. On the next page is kind of their new creations for the festival. I'm really interested to try to find maybe this rum cake or try the hot mozzarella with cherry tomato bruschetta. I also am kind of a big fan of lobster rolls, so I am was personally excited <laughs> to see what uh, how that tastes and pick that up as well. So lots of options kind of for anything that you'd like to try, whether it's seafood, whether it's beef, or even whether it's a vegetarian option, they have something for everyone here that you will enjoy. This egg roll from Ireland, corned beef egg roll, is just excellent. I'm so glad that I got it because it's definitely one of the choices here that I think that it's new, it's different, and it's a good choice if you're headed over here. We were able to get this cheesy meatball dish from the Italian market that was recommended by Kyle, one of the team members at SeaWorld here at the media event, and it was phenomenal. Definitely my favorite of all of the dishes I've tried so far. Fantastic, and it's huge. The last thing that I stopped and got was at the Cafe de Mar, was this delectable, very colorful looking rainbow cheesecake waffle cone. It looked really interesting, and I thought that it was actually gonna be ice cream, but I was very wrong. I did not read the sign correctly. This is actually what it says. It is a ice cream, it is actually a cone with cheesecake on the top. This is actual cheesecake on the top. You can see I've taken a few bites already. <laughs> it was thick, it is cheesecake, and it tastes amazing. I think this is a winner in my book. I did not expect to have a waffle cone filled with cheesecake versus ice cream. I thought it was gonna be ice cream flavored like cheesecake, but this is a fun idea to walk around the parks, have cheesecake in a cone that's multiple colors. I bought, I bit off a little bit so you could see all the colors, <laughs> um, but this is a winner. This is a winner here at Seven Seas Food Festival. Thank you everyone for coming along with me to SeaWorld's Seven Seas Food Festival. We had a phenomenal time. I love tasting the drinks. I love tasting the food samples. Everything that I tried today, I felt like you couldn't go wrong with. And when I looked around at all the booths that I couldn't get to, I felt like there's many more things that I could and want to do and come back to do. So there's endless options. Getting the tasting lanyard is your best bet. It's shareable, it's a great deal, and SeaWorld's Seven Seas Food Festival is fantastic for everyone, for families, for a cool date night. I highly recommend it. So thank you to SeaWorld Orlando for inviting us. We had a fabulous time. I hope you enjoyed watching today and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We will see you all very soon.